night side project. Finish the day happy, happy with Ethan Millard and Alex Geary on KSL News Radio. Welcome to the Nightside Project. I'm Ethan Millard. He's Alex Keery, and we're glad you're here with us. We're helping you finish your commute happy. Yeah. Thanks so much for grabbing this episode. We've got a Zen headline coming up that will for sure help you wrap up your commute happy. Uh, in the meantime, though, can I just start off things with a very quick story? Of what happened sure, to me yeah, yesterday? Yeah. So yesterday was my day off. All right. And I was doing day off things. All right. Yeah. And that includes we we're having another baby, and so I did the thing where I was at the Target store going through because we had a car seat for the other kids, right? Like an infant seat, you know the, yeah. rubber, the you know the the what do you call it the you know the flip around yeah infant seat yeah, yeah whatever car seat uh, ours expired. They do that. It rotted or whatever. They, they do that. <laughs> and I, I don't know if it's like a real expiration date or either. just a way to sell more infant carriers. But the problem is that hospitals are very serious about things oh, like sure, that. Oh, sure, sure, sure. So, so the, you, they won't let you take the baby out of the hospital right. unless they're confident that it is secure in its car that seat. That it's so. only two and a half years old. So It's best to not mess with it. We, we, we're going in and we're looking at new uh, car seats, which are, you know, if, I know it's shocking, but they've gotten even more expensive over the last four years. So. Yeah. Um, we were looking at them and whatever, and they and Doug Wright's producer, Doug Wright here in Salt Lake City at our station KSL, longtime talk show host. For people who don't know who he is, I don't know how you don't know if you're here. But anyway, those who don't listen in the state, and he was his producer was like, "Would you be willing to talk about the Jazz?" And I was like, "Well, it's something like the Utah Jazz in the playoffs. Yeah, they got the win on Saturday. Sure. Whatever. Yeah, I'll be at Tar. I'll I'll I'm I didn't I wasn't like I'm at Target shopping for car seats. I was like." Yeah, it'll be over the phone because I'm not in the station right now. But, uh, yeah, just call me when you're ready. Okay, should be around this time. Fine. I'm sitting there. So I do the thing where I was like, honey, I'm going to go stand in the corner of the store over here. Just Because I'm going to be re- on, on live radio. So just I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait yeah. for you. The lady at Target drives the, the uh, forklift directly to me. <laughs> <laughs> While you're on the air? Me? No, uh, no, because I'm waiting for the phone call. I'm like, Ugh. so I start kind of walking a different direction of the store. Yeah. I'm at the back, very back of the store. And you lose your signal. Well, no, I don't even know I don't have signal. All I know is, is that the time passes, the time passes, the time passes, then I, and then I walk to another part of the store, and it says voice, voicemail, voicemail. Two voicemails oh. pop up. Okay? Not only that, I get a tweet from someone's all, hey, Doug Wright's throwing shade on you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> on the air. Yeah, and I'm <laughs> all, what? So then to cap it off, so then to cap it off, I see somebody that is a listener, longtime Nightside listener at the store, and she's like, dude, you know Doug Wright's looking for you right now? <laughs> <laughs> like, she oh had just walked in. Oh, my goodness. Uh, That's amazing. That remember, is amazing. Uh, do you remember uh, Steven? And uh, he's the splits guy. He does yeah, the splits. Right, yeah. And, uh, uh, and uh, Keffy. Kefren, yes, his yes, wife. Yes, so yes, I remember them both. She was yeah. like, what? oh, my gosh, it's so good to see you. Doug Wright's looking for you right now. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I ended up going on the air with him talking about the jazz, and he acted it was like it was all cool. Oh, it was fun, fun, fun. You but did... I got all these messages like, dude, Doug Wright is like really throwing you under the bus right now. <laughs> I'm like, he's the one who called me on the day off. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, you know what? Goodness, He's going to be the first goodness. recipient of the poop package. <laughs> <laughs> of the fossilized dinosaur yeah. gift. Yeah. All right. All right. So check this out, Alex. We want to thank Laura Wallace on Twitter for teeing this up for us. Uh, this is a quiz. Now, we've done this before, and I just want to I want to get you going on this. All right? Let me scroll up to the top. Look at this right here. Oh, uh, yeah. Pick five fast food items from around the world, and we'll reveal your exact Ooh. birth date. So this I is from BuzzFeed. Kind of so uh, and it's a very very short quiz. So I'm gonna I'm gonna see if we can we can out you and your age and your birth date right here. Okay. Right here in the episode. All right. Now look at now this is Spencer Althaus from BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed posted this. <laughs> it says, look how he wrote it. Pick five fast food items from around the world will to reveal your exact birth date. Then look at this. Trust me. He just says trust me. So I say, look, okay. I will. 
I so will. So are you doing this or am I doing this? You're doing this. Okay. Pick a McDonald's item from around the world. Now, here are a few menu, menu items. The Veggie Crunch Burger from Singapore. Mm. So that looks good. It's kind of a tempura crunchy thing. Mm. Frozen Coke in New Zealand. I could go for that. Right. The Black and White Burgers in Hong Kong. Right. Which Don't they use squid ink or something like that Dude, to color that, those? Does that Frozen Coke have ice cream on top of it, too? Uh, looks like. Yeah, looks oh, like it's got soft man. serve on there. Uh, the Cadbury Cream Egg McFlurry okay. from the UK, which looks all right. yeah looks great. The McCroquet from the Netherlands, which is like fried cheese, right? The McCrocket, the yeah. McCroquet, yeah. And poutine from Canada. So there we you have, go. There are your have, options. Uh, so you got to do okay. the Veggie Crunch, Frozen Coke, Black and White yeah. Burgers. Let's Cadbury. do the Frozen Coke. Bob. You want to do the Bro. Frozen Coke? Yeah, that frozen looks amazing Coke. with that with that soft serve on top of it. Yeah, it looks great. It Why does is Millennial Josh? I know what J- Millennial Josh was year he was born in. 2006. <laughs> He's like, I don't even know what Coke is. Oh. Oh, do you mean, do you, do, do you get it at Starbucks? <laughs> <laughs> he did. <laughs> Pick a fast food item that doesn't exist anymore. Okay. All right? All this right. is the next one. Right. French toast breakfast sandwich from Sonic. That was my pick. I actually love oh, it. Oh, I was like, McDonald's <laughs> does not have Sonic. Uh, cupcake right. shake from Burger King. All right. The frescata sandwiches from Wendy's. Oh, yeah. The McSalad shakers at McDonald's. Oh, those were awesome. I hated those. <laughs> I thought it was so stupid. Uh, the brownie sandwich from Taco Bell and the taco pizza from oh, Pizza Oh, taco I'm, pizza, taco bro. Pizza, oh, there. my goodness. Yeah. I love the taco pizza. Uh, which bizarre fast food item would you rather try? Mm-hmm. The KFC Double Down Dog, which is a hot dog in between two fried chicken oh, breasts. that looks. What is even on top of it? It looks like some kind of nacho cheese that sauce. That is terrible. Uh, it looks like, no. It could it be looks, mustard. Is it, it mustard? It looks like uh, hair paste. It's the Philippines, so it literally could be anything. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, the Pizza Hut Kit Kat Pops. That's in the Middle East. It looks like uh, breaded and fried Kit Kats. Yeah, okay. Uh, the Dunkin' Donuts Dried Pork and Seaweed Donut from okay, China. Move on. The Wendy's Surf and Turf Burger from Japan. The Taco Ooh. Bell Chocadilla, which is a quesadilla with chocolate yeah, yeah, in it from sure. the UK. And the McDonald's Chicken McDough and Spaghetti in the Philippines, which is a fried chicken drumstick and a plate of spaghetti. Mm. That is so weird. That so there like, you go. They're like, what do Boy Scouts? Take your pick. What do Boy Scouts eat at the Blue and Gold Banquet? The I'm, Cub Scouts, <laughs> uh, chicken, uh, chicken drumsticks and spaghetti and meatballs. You know, that's going to be a hit at McDonald's. I'm going to go with the uh, scroll down. What was that other one? I'm going to go with the Surf and Turf, dude. The Wendy's Surf yes. and Turf Burger in Japan. Look at that. It's got like lobster on. it. Yeah, it looks like some lobster and. I don't know, various Turf. other things. It's got grass on it. <laughs> which which bizarre fast food item would you not want to try? Oh. The mashed potato beef burger in China. Mm-hmm. The popcorn chicken nacho box from KFC in oh, Australia. Oh, my heavens. The Burger King black ninja burger in Japan. Mm, I'm offended by that. The KFC cheesa in the Philippines, which I cannot tell what that it's is. It's a chicken pizza. The Pizza Hut cheeseburger crust in the UK or the KFC cheese donut in Indonesia. Which would you try or which not Which would try? you not, not want to not try? Not want to try. Um... Probably the Chiquiza. The Chiza. It the Chiza. Yeah, it looks bad. Uh, by the way, uh, you can see photos of these on our on the video version yeah. of this episode, which is right in your down which is right in your Hold down uh, your iTunes feed. It's about to it's about to give the last question. I thought it was gonna say, lastly, what year and date were you born? <laughs> 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 lastly, pick an American fast food dessert. Oh. You've got the Captain Crunch Delights from Taco Bell, the Bacon Sunday from Burger King, the Croissant the Donuts from Jack in the Box, or the Chocolate Jalapeno Shake from Sonic. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Cronut, bro. Croissant donuts. This is what I picked as well. Mm-hmm. Now this is this is supposed to figure out what day and time you were, or what date and year you were born. Are you ready for this? Oh my! Right here, you got July seventh, two thousand one. I am sixteen years old. I'm this 15, year. I'm fifteen years old. Sixteen in July. That's not even millennial. That's, no, that's generation. That's you post millennial. Yeah, this is this is generation Z or whatever. So generation Buzzfeed, Z. as far as Buzzfeed is concerned, that's how old you are. July seventh, two thousand one. Uh, I feel. What did you get? Uh, it was somewhere around there. Okay. So it, well, I was in the two thousand. Because you know well. why? Because they know the people that are actually taking this test. They're like the people are going to take this test are between the ages of mm, fourteen and seventeen. Well, we know none of them were born in the nineties. That's where they. That's where they start. But see, here people who rate it. 416 fails. Yeah, mostly fail. Here's one. Here, two, 22 of them apparently nailed it. Yeah, those are the 14-year-olds. And I, this is when I realized, Alex, you know what Bug, BuzzFeed got us to do? 
click. Just on click everything. on all their stupid yep. things. And you know what that means? They win. That means they win. That means they get to go to their advertisers I wanna, and I, say, look at how many people clicked on this fake. Are you? I'm kind of offended by how many things McDonald's makes other. I feel like McDonald's is cheating on us, right? Like they, they make amazing creations everywhere else. And then here, they just mail it. The heck in. You know I what think I mean? They, I feel like McDonald's and, and other fast food places too, not just them, but the but Burger King. We saw Burger King, KFC, and their yeah. international uh, options. I think they feel like we don't like to try new things, and I think they feel like- Everywhere else likes to try new things. We're afraid well, to try. Well, and you've, you've experienced this, but and I've experienced it too. If you're in another country, McDonald's is like a classy option. Right, it can be. Yeah, in South I've America, that, yeah. McDonald's is like, wow, you are you you are obviously upper crust because you ate at McDonald's today. And if you have a birthday party there for your kids, oh, forget you're about the it. president. Yeah. You're you're obviously the president.